So speaking of rural um, redistricting and, and issues that happen um, when you move farther away from the cities, I came across something called prison-based gerrymandering. Can you guys elaborate on what that is, if it happens in Oklahoma, um, and, and what that whole phenomenon is based on? So what it's based on is that you can count prisoners for the purpose of population, but they cannot vote. So there are districts with large federal prisons, for instance, where like the prison population makes up a significant part of that population, right? So like you can make the district a smaller area, but potentially giving you more room to gerrymander without having to worry about like these actual numbers that bolt the district out being voters one way or the other. Um, you know, in practice, um, there is the theory that because of the inequities in our criminal justice system that this is taking minority voters out of the population and adding their numbers to what are often more rural districts uh, than these people would uh, would normally live in and uh, you know bulking out the numbers of those districts at the expense of these populations that's that's what a lot of the controversy is based on. Um, the other big part of there is that it can be used to misrepresent the size of certain areas, right? You know, if you look at population change maps from 2010 to 2019, uh, on the county level in Oklahoma, you'll see that Blaine County is just in the toilet. It's lost like 25% of its population. Now, as far as I know, there hasn't been any, you know, plague or, well, I guess there's been plague everywhere, but... I guess there hasn't been any huge catastrophe that has destroyed 25% of the population of Blaine County, but there has been a prison that has closed and in, in, the, in the city of Watonga that has just taken out a huge number of, you know, not only inmates, but people who work there. And part of the prison closing also rolled up a substantial amount of the town's businesses because they left with the prison, so to speak. Hmm. Um, a lot of those – now, it, I think uh, prison gerrymandering is more of a problem with how the census reports it. They report at the prison instead of place of mm -hmm. technical residence, I guess. Um, and that could be changed by federal policy, I think. It hasn't for whatever reason. Um, but it, there, is a, there is a current of the way the criminal justice system is set up, you know, doesn't dis – disproportionately affecting minor, minority um, folks in that you'll see a lot of the districts in Oklahoma that are losing population are majority minority or have significant minority populations. And one has to wonder, are they being moved to these more, more uh, where these large prisons are? What's happening there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it should be said that one of the other proposals for dealing with this is prison voting, um, you know, like, that was that was a big issue in the 2020 primary. To my knowledge, Senator Sanders was the only one to advocate not just letting felons vote after being released, but allowing current prisoners to vote. And without you know changing the way the census is done, that would also address this issue. Mm -hmm.